Okay, so I just want to take a few minutes and uh, show you a new app to me. It's the NFB Stop Mo Studio app, which lets you do stop motion movies in the classroom. The app costs 99 cents, or it does right now. It says it's a special launch price, and it's one of the nicer stop motion apps I've seen available for the iPad in recent times. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of uh, what that looks like how that works and what kind of options you have if you wanted to use this in the classroom. So let's open that up and take a look. And here's a splash screen here that says, what, no movies yet? Let's start a new movie. So I'm gonna tap in the bottom right hand corner where it says create new film. So this is what the interface of the app looks like. And you can see here, it's just a, a camera at the back of the iPad looking at my desk right now. And if I, uh, wave my hands behind you can see uh, that's what it is showing over on the left hand side here we've got some settings so it's just a little pull tab you pull that out here some settings for your movie so at the moment it's set to do 15 images per second so with stop motion movies what you're doing here is you're taking a series of photographs and it's stitching those photographs together uh, to make it look like a movie so it's going to take 15 images right now to make one second of footage so that sounds like a lot but you, you'll get used to this type of thing you can adjust that accordingly as you want to time lapse is off so what that means is you have to manually click that big circle in the bottom right hand corner to take a picture if you want you can make that automatic so you can set that to say three seconds so the first time I hit that button on the right hand corner there, it's going to take a picture. Three seconds later, it will automatically take another picture. Three seconds later, automatically takes another picture. So you can set that up so that you're not always coming around the other side of the camera, tapping, tapping, tapping. Um, it just gives you a few seconds in between to move your object around the screen. Um, this can go as far as five, ten seconds. After that, you can even go up, up to a minute and take a photograph every minute. Maybe in science, you're doing some kind of investigation and you are measuring some kind of chemical reaction and you want to see what the difference and the change is over time. You can set that up with the iPad here and it will take a photograph every one minute, stitch all those photographs together into a little short movie. Um, maybe you are um, need something longer than that you can make it go up to like an hour so maybe in social studies you're you're tracking the weather throughout the day and you want to take a photograph every single hour for a couple of days you can do that with the iPad set that up here you can even take photos every day sometimes you see videos online of um, construction projects where they take a photograph every single day to show the progress made when they are building uh, a building and they do it from the foundations upwards maybe they do it every hour maybe they do it every day and in the end they stitch all those photos together to make this time-lapse movie um, that shows the progress that they made so this is adjustable um, entirely the way you want it to be you can choose front camera or back camera you can have the grid on or the grid off so here is the grid off and here is the grid on. Having the grid on sometimes helps you with placement of some of your objects behind the camera. It helps you see where they are in relation to the rest of the frame on there too. So it works very easily. So you would just start with your object behind the camera here. So here's my mouse and I would take a picture. Move it a little bit more, take a picture move it a little bit more, take a picture. And I keep taking successive pictures all the time with the object moving all around the screen. And you can do this with whatever objects you want. You can have claymation characters. You can use plastic animals. You can use paper objects. You can do all kinds of things with stop motion depending on what it is you want to film and show. The photos you take appear along the bottom on a timeline down there and will stack up on the bottom there. So let me see if I can just push up here and yep, you can see at the bottom there we also have space for audio tracks. So at the bottom here you can take a piece of music from your iPad and add that to your stop motion movie. You can also add a narration, a voice narration and have that playing underneath the movie too. So very nice to have those options on there and you can scroll back and through those in a, in a timeline type fashion like you would in iMovie or other type of video editors. 
let's go over to the side where the extras tab is and over here you've got some other options here so you can add titles so titles to your movie and these remind me of those those old silent movies those black and white movies with Charlie Chaplin and Howard Lloyd and all those other silent movie stars where they had these at the beginning and interspersed throughout the movie to help tell the story so if you want to recreate one of those silent movie type things where you show the conversation two characters are having on a text slide like this you can do that maybe you just want to break up your movie into different scenes and you want to say scene one is this, scene two is that, scene three is that, you can do that too. Just a variety of different text styles and frames here that you can use to add interest to your movie. You can also come into the extras tab here and add photos or just a solid color background and you can piece those in to part of your movie here. Once you have some frames in here too, you can also add some sound effects. You can also do some whiteboard annotations. They give you some drawing tools where you can actually draw over the top of your videos. So very nice, very straightforward, very easy to use. This is a great app for the classroom. So I'm going to stop talking about it here and I'll just cut to one of my pre-recorded exciting adventures of a wireless mouse on my desk created with the NFB Stopmo Studio app.